Okay, a steel marble falls from the roof of a building. Good golly. All right, she hits the ground. 43 meters tall. Uh, what is what time does it take to reach the ground? What is its velocity of impact? Ignore air friction. Make down negative. All right, I can do that. S U V A N T. I think our initial velocity is zero because it just falls, right? Uh, the acceleration is negative 9.81. Our displacement is down 43 meters. And uh, our final velocity is, um, well, I think we could do, what could we do? I think for final velocity is, what time does it reach the ground? We could, let's use this. Let's go S is UT plus 1 half AT squared. Okay, initial velocity is zero, so we get negative 43. So this is not actually that hard to solve. It is one half, negative 9.81 t squared, right? So the negatives, by the way, will cancel out, and we don't have any imaginary number problems, right? So uh, the square root of 2 times 43 divided by 9.81. The time is 2.96 seconds. And then the only problem, awkward thing here is just to put that in two sig figs is this, OK? So that's the first question. Then what is its velocity of impact? 96 seconds. And then the velocity of impact you could get with, uh, I guess we could do it with uh, v squared, is u squared plus 2as, right? So v squared is 0 squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 43 meters. Okay. And then negatives go away, so we can take the square root, right? Square root of 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 43. And I get 29.0. The absolute value of V is 29.0458 or something like that meters per second. Now, it strikes the ground. Here it is right before it hits the ground. There it is moving, right? It's definitely going down, so we definitely have to say negative. This could be positive or negative, but we definitely need to say that it's negative 29 meters per second because it's going down. Yay.